hello lovelies you are welcome back again to my channel as you can see that is an african map wall art you asked for it then i made it isn't it lovely well i represent africa africa is my continent so i had to make this beautiful wall art using my patch fabric you guys remembered when i did a patch african print fabric yes if you haven't watched it kindly check my channel and i'll be dropping the link in the description box below and um, some people suggested in that video that i create something nice with this fabric some suggested skirts some throw pillows somebody suggested um, wall art so first i said let me just do the wall art and with the leftover fabric I will create something else. The first thing I did was to go to my system. Then I typed in map of Africa, after which I printed it out. But if you are good at drawing, you don't need to go through all this stress. You can as well draw and, you know, make use of it. The first one I printed was too small so i had to try my luck again then i got the size that's an a4 paper so i'll be working with that size the materials needed for this tutorial are my patch fabric my interfacing my frame scissors glue my map of africa and a plain a4 paper along the line i made use of my pins okay so i went ahead to cut out the map of africa i added like quarter of an inch to the original um size because i didn't want it to be so small maybe when next i'm creating something like this i will go for a bigger frame so i was trying to just add a little to the original size of the map yeah so when i was done cutting out i also cut out the small um country that's the madagascar and that is it right there the next thing i went ahead to do was to look for the parts that i felt would be okay for the shape i just cut out so i ended up with that corner on the fabric first of all i just cut out that portion because i felt it would be enough for me yeah i also went ahead to place the african map on the fabric to be sure that it would be enough then i gave it a good press you know it's a patch fabric so i needed to really give it a good press after which i attached my interfacing the essence of this is for the fabric to be stable, otherwise you may be having rough edges. When I was done attaching the interfacing, I went ahead to pin the map of Africa to the fabric. You can use as many pins as you wish because you wouldn't want it to wobble while cutting out. I did a little mistake here. Will I really call it a mistake? Because I was really interested in making something very large. I kind of added like quarter of an inch again to the original map of Africa shape. You can see I'm not just cutting the exact size. So I did this just because I wanted a very large map of Africa. Here is how it looks. I went ahead to place it on the frame to see the outcome. That was when I realized that it was a little bigger than the space. So I had to start trimming it again, removing the quarter of an inch I added initially. Mm -hmm. 
When I was done trimming, I went ahead to apply my glue to the edges of the cutout. That glue is a paper glue, but you can use a fabric glue if you have it, okay? Since I'm working with papers, so I decided to use this. So I made sure I applied the glue neatly to the edges of the cutout. After doing that, I just made sure I centralized the map on the paper. This aspect requires eye judgment, making sure that you have equal spaces around the cutout. Again, I'm not forgetting that little country. I retrimmed it too because I also added a um, quarter of an inch to the cutting when I was doing that initially. So I trimmed it again and I also applied my glue. And that one was right there. If you see, uh, I used a green fabric there because I wanted a touch of green in the arts. So here is me just opening up the frame. I got this frame from one of the thrift shops I went to and they have a lot there. So you may be seeing more of this um, um, tutorial on this channel because I, I love what I saw when I went to that thrift shop. So I felt a lot can be done with these frames. So here is me just um, applying glue to the corners of the frame. I mean the internal part. And I, I cleaned the extra. When I was done doing that, I just placed my paper inside. And that's it. Very simple. Anybody can do it. Even a child of five years can do this um, wall art. So I use it to beautify my house. As you can see, it's looking good. It's, it's giving this African continent so simple to make and straight to the point there is no need beating about the bush just know what you want to do and you go for it you too can try it honestly you can even make money from this thing that i just did and then um, i'm even considering that <laughs> i'm considering that so if you have watched this video to this point guys and you haven't given this video a like yet what are you waiting for please give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel, you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Don't also forget to like, comment, and share this video. And I hope you've turned on your post notification bell already. So keep seeing my amazing content. See you all in my next one. Peace out.